welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 4 Car Reviews. Today we are in the 4th generation 2016 Mini Viper. I mean the Mazda MX-5. I love this car. Each generation has been amazing and greatly influenced my taste in cars. I generally love the looks inside and out. That said, I do prefer the looks of the 3rd gen model. To me this car is unique. I do believe the first gen model is now recognized as a collector's car. All the cars I review on this channel are fully modded, so they have no stock parts in them. The only assist I have active is the ABS. So let's get this car on the road and see what she can do. As usual, I am doing my normal street route to see how she handles. This car is extremely light and nimble. In a way I think it is a little bit too light, 335.72 km an hour, that's alright. It's definitely not the fastest but it definitely keeps up with most of the supercars. That alone is quite impressive. One thing I do want to point out, this car sounds like a mosquito on steroids, in a blood donor facility. I am pretty impressed with the cornering so far. Whoops, that was accidentally a 270, not a 180. Not bad. For the most part, this car handles extremely well. I am very impressed. I do know the standard model, the unmodified one, has a perfect 50-50 weight ratio. Alright, let's go to the highway. Pull away is impressive and highly stable. 0 to 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour is under 3 seconds. That is faster than most standard supercars. Customary hooting and tunnel. I'm going to call this car the Mosquito.
350.43 kilometers an hour. Considering this is with full downforce, not bad. And of course, I miscalculated that. Ah, I did a Richard Hammond thing. I found this car extremely stable. It actually kind of reminds me of the Porsche 911s. I apologize, my PC is lagging a bit. That makes driving challenging. This is actually my favorite corner on the highway. If your car can do it at over 350, then it's a pretty decent cornering car. Sadly, I can't see exactly what speed I'm doing, but I do believe it is over 350. Alright, let's reduce downforce. This will allow me to reach higher top speeds. However, it does reduce cornering ability as well. Wow, that really is a quick pull away. It's almost like launching off an aircraft carrier. Traffic seems a bit more busy now. To be honest, I haven't seen much difference in cornering. This corner is another really good test for maneuverability. And as you can see, it handled it perfectly well. Bad lag, bad lag, bad lag. Gonna lose it, gonna lose it. I'm blaming lag for that. Not my fault, not this time. Nope, nope, nope. So who's gonna sponsor me for a new PC? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Overall, this car definitely is one of my favorites. I've always enjoyed it every single generation. I love it, actually. Do you think Mazda will continue the MX-5 legacy? I surely hope they do. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on notifications. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.